Alright, so this is going to be a video regarding Clue Voyages. And regarding Clue Voyages, usually go for the ones that give you the special voyages, like I have today for Gift of the Goo, and of course, all the other ones. And regarding who can give you the Clue Voyages, you'll see them when you open your Captain's Log, and you would end up here, and you can hit this button right here, and end up, end up over here to see who you get. So, the Chef, the Exile, the Memory, the Tengu, the Trapper, and the Whaler. And regarding to get more of a chance to get those Clue Voyages, you would go to your Upgrade Buildings, and you would head all the way to the Totem Hotspot. Right, so once you're here, you can scroll all the way down and go to Map Table, and then you'll see increases the chance of receiving Clue Voyages, and you can add up to four. And having four would upgrade it to a 10% chance. And also to mention, if you want to get a specific adventurer to focus on a clue, you can also use the hotspots. So, you know, you'll just go to upgrade buildings and you will start to change your hotspots into who you need to pick and who you want to choose for the clues. And the big thing with sending those voyages, and they'll be like, oh, they didn't find what they were looking for. Well, here's a tip that I had found out. So you see in the upper right, you'll see the visitors, and you'll see the people inside, right? They'll say the whalers in the port, and the tengus in the port. So the main thing is that we have to find them inside the port. So let's go find them. So where they're always going to be is in the bar. So, you know, you'll just head inside where Sarula is, or the barmaid. You know, some of them may be downstairs, some of them may be upstairs. So, we see the whaler here, and this is the main thing right here. You'll see where it says clue focus, and that's the biggest thing, because if it's not focused to that specific adventurer or main character in the ports, then it's gonna just gonna go to a random island and it's not gonna find what it's looking for. So you can press clue focus, and this is what it says. Hubbub has been accepted by the Sea Singers, and you can now visit their spiritual home. So since I already did all of them, this is what I get. So the people who haven't completed all of this all the way, this is what you're gonna have to do. So, just like the Tengu, like if I went over hit to see him and hit Clue Focus, right? So, now I can just donate with Chimes. And then, with him, specifically, you get a piece of Tengu uh, cosmetics. And regarding the Tengu, you would donate in thousands of Chimes, right? How many thousands of Chimes would you like to donate? And donating over 25,000 would get you a cosmetic piece for sure so we'll do let's do 40 let's do 40,000 and the chimes will be deducted when you send out the Tengu's charity begins at home voyage so we'll look at the voyage and we'll see it here and then we could send it All right so 83% is good and here we go And that's really it. That's that's really all you need to do for clue voyages. To get them precisely almost all the time. And always remember too, certain adventurers are always unlocked at certain points and locations. So don't ever forget that. And what I mean by that is on screen you'll see what voyages and location you need for the chef. These are for the exile. This is for the memory. This is for the Tengu. And you see how far you gotta travel into ports to, you know, get these certain types of clues. This is for the trapper. And these are for the whaler. And on screen are all the rewards that are possible when you complete all of those clues.